Hi folks, Max Kofnecka here with the UW Whitewater Bass Fishing Club. Today I'm going to be teaching you a little about tubes. Now there are many tubes to choose from, I have a whole box of them, but my favorite brand of tubes is Get Bit Baits. Now my favorite color of Get Bit Baits is the three and a half inch green pumpkin and gold flake. So this one just seems to work really good around where I'm at and it's just about the right size where you don't have to penetrate the plastic or anything to get that hook in. So there's many ways to rig these as well um, but today we're just going to do the general method which is going to be with the tube jig. Now personally I like a fourth ounce tube jig. Looks like that. And make sure to store your tube jigs in some type of water repellent um, and water absorbing tackle box. I like the Plano Edge uh, boxes because they have the water, rick, the water wick technology and it eliminates rust on your hooks. So, you got your tube jig. You get out your Get Bit Baits tube. And there's a hollow interior cavity within the tube. And you take your tube jig and you feed the part with the eyelet in that hollow cavity until you reach the very front of the tube. And then you take your eyelet and you poke it out through the plastic. So it should look like this. Now this is not a weedless bait at this point. Um, one way you can get it weedless is by, re is by rigging it Texas rigged or by using some type of uh, weedless hook and just piercing it through that plastic as well. So now it's just as easy as tying it on and your tube's ready to rock. Now what happens when it's in the water is it kind of darts if you're retrieving it and bumping it back and these flanges burst out like a skirt on a jig and for some reason I don't know it's not real uh, eye catcher but it gets the job done and man does it work around rock uh, sometimes you can fish it around like Kissimmee grass uh, definitely would not fish this in the weeds though you can get hung up pretty easy but there's many ways to fish it too. You can just cast it out and retrieve it. Um, vertical jig it and uh, you can even swim it. Um, I do know a couple guys that fish it top water as well but that's another style for another day. So we got her tied on. We're gonna see if we can catch some fish on it now. So the rod and reel that I'm throwing it on, I'm just throwing it on a Dobbins rods um, Champion XP. It is a um, seven foot three um, medium fast action. It's made for throwing tubes. And I got that paired up with the uh, 2500 sized um, Shimano Altegra. And then I got, I believe, 10 or 12 pound braid on here. Um, the water where I'm fishing is pretty stained, so I don't need a far, uh, fluorocarbon leader but you can do that too if you would like. The way I like to fish it is I like to skip it most of the time. I skip it hoping that the fish will hear it and look upward and I let it fall. Let it sit for about two seconds and then I just like to First, uh, jig it back. So I'll go one, two, three, let it sit. One, two, let it sit. One, two, three, let it sit. And just keep going until you get to the boat. That's a better one.
That's a good one. <laughs> That's a real good one. We got a good one, guys. Big small mom. Let's go. That's a nice one. <clears throat> Sitting behind them piers. That's what I'm talking about. You got the live wall filling back up. That was the three and a half inch green pumpkin purple gold flake so catches fish huh we leave those there we still got our tube on just gonna check it every time you catch a fish just check your line check your line for frays and any other things that could uh, jeopardize you Losing the next fish. Okay, so this one seems good. So, little, little bit beat up, but that's not an issue really. And it's character. So we're all good. We got no frays. Just gonna continue to our little program here. We're gonna see if we can't catch another giant. Nice one. Oh, that was crazy. I almost hit that bridge. That's actually a nice large mouth right there. <laughs> Look 
get in there. That's a nice one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Whew. Nice large mouth. Alrighty folks, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you learned something today. Make sure to check out UW Whitewater Bass Fishing Club. And uh, if you're going to Whitewater, please, I highly suggest you join. We are growing exponentially and we love to have people come by and just say hi or to join. So anyways, I hope you learned how to fish a tube today. Uh, make sure this year if they have it, hopefully with this COVID stuff they'll have it, but Check out the Madison Fishing Expo. It's very cool. We'll be there. And uh, you'll be able to check out all the other new fishing stuff. So without th further ado, remember we're using the Get Bit Baits tube and a fourth ounce tube jig today. So that's all you really need. And a spinning rod and some uh, 10 pound braid. So thank you guys again for watching. And we'll see you guys on another adventure.